how's it going everyone? So welcome to part one of the Astra build, Silver Astra Estate. I've done an introduction video on it before this video, so if you haven't seen that, go back and see that and you can see the condition of the car. So today we're gonna, as you can hear the old jet washers on, gonna wash her down so we can get a much better closer look at what's needed and then we can go from there. So let's start the video off and let's get it started. So I just put loads and loads of this on. Let it soak in a little bit. And I'll agitate it with the old brush. Pretty good.
junk on this one. Just keep going through this. However many times it takes to get it clean, really. I think you get the idea, so I'll scrub a whole engine bay and I'll bring it back once I've washed it down and stuff. Tons better, We're nice and degreased. If I have to go over it again once it dries up, I need a little bit more than I will. If not, then later on when the body work's done, that'll get some nice cleaners and stuff on it. it should look pretty good. I'm gonna do up under the underneath of the bonnet and stuff like that. I'll get that all done off camera, but you get the idea of what I'm doing. Right, so she's all washed up. Done under the bonnet, done up the actual under the bonnet as well. Um, and they're going to attack some nasty, gluey, sort of sticky emblem that's on the bonnet. I think it used to be a taxi at some point, so it had a big sticker on the front there. So I'm just going to have a look at that and see if we can get that removed off the bonnet. So I think you get the idea, you can see what's there. <laughs> it's a big circle, but because there's a shadow there, you can't see it at the moment. But we're going to see if we can sand that out and get that off the bonnet because. That looks a right pig at the wrong times. But the light's hitting it. So we've got a little bucket, some soap in it, got some sandpaper, which is 2000 grit, nice and fine. It's wet and dry. And we're now going to sand this sticker and see if we can get a bit of it off. cross motions should help the most. 
I could do it with the sand but I don't want to go through the paint. Unless the glue has actually gone right into it. So we'll spend a good bit of time doing this and see if we can get this removed. And I'll show you again later on. So it's been about half an hour now and it was coming off as you can see but it started to go through so there's nothing I can do about it. It's gone right deep into the paint. You can see that side. As it catches the light you can see the glue has gone into the paint, into the lacquer. So it's no good, I'm going to have to strip it right back. In a way it's good because there's a dent here. Then here there's actually right and right across here as well it's hard to see in this sort of light but it's definitely there and then also we'll get rid of all these stone chips at the same time while we're doing it so we might as well get on with that now be a little bit rougher with it and prep the bonnet after doing that i decided to strip out the unit sweep out all the floors and everything and get ready to do some bodywork So we've got the car indoors now, we've got it all dried down and now you can see the exact damage we've got to do. It look a lot worse now, it's not wet, but nothing that we can't do. We've just got to spend a bit of time going around the car and sorting things out. So we've got doors, wheel arch, top of the boot, bottom of the boot, back bumper, front bumper, and above the doors on both sides. So we've got a fair bit to do, but Lots of small spots, not lots and lots of work on every single panel. The only side that's actually really, really good is the driver's side. We ain't got to touch that. Some of the panels I may just replace, depending on what sort of price they are. We'll work out the paint and go from there. So we're indoors and this is what we got. We've got a bit of damage there on the bottom end of the rear quarter dented as well as you can see from rust and we've got this damage higher up here which we're going to have to knock around a little bit and reshape and then give it a little skim and that's pretty much where we're going to start I think the door damage does come straight into that but it's going across here so we'll, we'll decide whether we're going to change the doors uh, depending on price because paint and everything, the materials and stuff has really gone up now, so it might be worthwhile I change the doors, but we'll see. So let's get into this arch and see what's what, shall we? So the first thing I'm going to do is put a barrier up so we don't burn any of the interior. Nicely. Right, let's get some tools to start sorting this out. So we've brought an extension lead over. We've got the old goggles on. go higher than the actual repair to make it work.
a little tip to do when you're doing a, a repair like this, if it's all out of shape, is when you're grinding it back like that, obviously that's getting hot, so a good time to hit it and knock it around. pretty good for the first knock around right so I've done the bottom bit of the arch off camera it's just the same as what we're doing up the top there just grinding out the dented bit and the rusty bit and now I've got the old dual action stander I've got a bit of 240 grit which is red and we're gonna go around the area just put the little compressor on run the hose over we're going to go around the area and go from there.
top and bottom sander. Let's get this off. So next we'll give it a good old degrease, as you can see. So we don't want no reactions on the edge of where the repairs are or anything like that. Always do that and then turn it over and hit it again. And you have to give that like 15 minutes to go off. Otherwise when you put your stuff on it, that won't stick. Right, so fill is all mixed up. You want the lighter skim on to start off in the deeper holes. So I've got a bit of 180 sandpaper here, I'm just going to get this rust off on the inside here. It's any surface rust that's going to have to go through anything. Just where a bit of bare metal was. Good to me. Just blow it down. Marble. Still got a bit of that filler left. This is so cold in here, ain't going off yet. You can now skim. Pretty cool. Thing to do when you hit it, it's 
just put that on your finger. And run it down like that. As well as we can go with that right now. So when you're doing the repair, obviously you want this line of the door all to match up with the, the seal and the repair. So you know how deep to go by how deep the door is. Same up here as well. You want this line to all be nice and lined up. It's pretty much there already, but we'll get it on the next skim. So it just all looks like that's exactly how it should have been. The repair's never been there. Right, everyone. So I think we've done a fair bit of work on that today. I'm pretty knackered because, as you saw earlier on, I've stripped out the whole unit and swept all the floors. I actually hooved all the sides of the walls all around the runners and that because they were all covered in dust and all sorts. Yeah, I'm pretty knackered. My legs are literally shaking. <laughs> So I've got to tidy up in that as well, put some cars away, uh, lock up everything, and obviously lock up front gates and all that sort of stuff. And yeah, there's a few bits and pieces to do before I can just leave, so I'll do all them, and then we'll get back on this again tomorrow. So this will be the end of this video, so thanks very much for watching, really appreciate it. Please hit the thumbs up and share me out and all that sort of stuff. We're getting towards the 1000 subscriber mark now, so that would be awesome if we can get there and we'll carry on doing this car so thanks very much for watching and i'll see you all soon in part two <laughs> see you later